Hey, morning. You ever go online and look for a recipe for something really simple and you have to read through a whole bunch of stories about how the person learned to make the recipe and oh my grandma taught me how to do it on a wood stove and blah 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 blah. So anyway, we're not going to go into a big long story here. This is eggplant pizza and even though it's meant with designed for people on low carb diets it tastes so good that I was telling somebody about it on a blog the other night after they made the cauliflower pizza and then the guy says um, something about putting eggplant on pizza and that's not what we're doing here we're putting the pizza on the eggplant so naturally my senile brain I was running the mouth with the old lady this morning and I forgot to start the camera when I did this so you peel the eggplant uh, you don't peel the eggplant, you slice the eggplant and then you take some salt and you salt the slices and you put them in the strainer you could use a colander but I prefer the strainer because it drains better and then you keep doing this until you fill the thing up put the small pieces in the bottom and build it up so that they all get compressed and the purpose of this is to force the moisture out of the eggplant because this afternoon it's still early in the morning you have to do this at least an hour before you want to use it so I'm doing this a lot more than an hour before and the purpose is to get the liquid out and this afternoon I'll come back before I use it and take a, a napkin with olive oil on it and wipe some of the salt off that didn't come off with the moisture Sorry, but I'm not going to fast forward for a couple of pieces of eggplant. This is a salt shaker. puts out a lot of salt, if you can see that there. You could use kosher salt or whatever salt you prefer, but I just use this regular iodized table salt. I would go a little bit slower, but I'm trying to get through this process. <laughs> this is boring as hell to watch. So we put that all in there. And then, there it is in there. Take a plate that fits just about inside there and put some weight on it. And that'll help force the liquid out. And it'll sit there in the sink like that for, for a better part of the day until I come back for about 4 o'clock. And then, uh, well, I'll see you later. Hey, welcome back to the Cheap Fat Guy's Kitchen. It's quite a few hours past where I left you before, and it's time to start assembling agreement, uh, ingredients and um, and the eggplant for the for the crust. In quotes, crust. If you were really paying attention, you'll see this is a different plate than was on there, and the old lady took the coffee cup off there that was waiting it because we had afternoon tea. In fact, I think my afternoon tea might be left in the microwave. Honey, your afternoon tea is left in the microwave too. So that's where my teacup went. Uh, Alright. I will have tea while I finish this. Alright, there's the missing teacup. Alright, so the teacup was on here as weight to hold it. And as you see, the plate I had on there was too too far around it was on the metal so I put this bowl in there because the things really shrunk down much better and of course all the, the liquid that comes out of there is a little brownish and that's what gives it the bitter taste if you don't salt it and get that out of there but first cast a uh, yeah, stainless steel pan wouldn't do without these if you don't wash them with soap if you wash them with a paper towel or a napkin um, they work like non-stick. This thing's like a couple of years old. I, I signed up as a product tester for the Good Sam Club and they sent this cookware five-piece set that folds into each other. The, the handles are removable. Take the handles off so it comes with two handles and five pans. Of course I have this preheat already so it's a little hot to handle. But I'm not getting burned too bad. And then that, anyway, so anyway, it's a, like a $200 set that I got just for writing the product re review. 
So that's on the stove on low heat heating. And this bag is two sausage. And some, uh, well, it had one of those yellow stickers on it at the grocery store. It's, it's meatloaf mix. I guess it has pork and burger and something else in it to, supposed to make meatloaf, but it was marked down. And you know how that is with finding the best price in the cheapest way. So anyway, there's a, a half a pound of that into the pan. let that start cooking. And the sausage are already pre-cooked. Those I boil when I bring them home. So they only need to heat later on. They'll go in later. And I don't think Honey Lamb is going to come out to get her tea while the camera's going. Here she's coming. She is also my helper. She's finishing her row. She's a knitter. And she's deep into knitting. Here's some tomato sauce. It's still a little bit frozen, but this is from homemade tomatoes. At the end of the season last year, I took the ones that were either had spots on them or were overripe or whatever and just put them in a pot, peel them, you know, blanch them for 30 seconds, take the skins off, and then put them in a pot with some basic, very simple ingredients. It's not spaghetti sauce, it's tomato sauce. So I add a little of this to this pot right now, just for some moisture so the meat browns up nice. And then some onion. This is already in sliced sliced because I don't want to take forever at it. So we get that cubed up. Rough chopped. We like substance to it. Neither one of us likes spaghetti sauce all that much so we don't um, go heavy on the red sauce. We just make this in the pan. Now here's a piece of homegrown garlic. Cube that up real good. I can't do the pastry station. I don't think I have any videos of apple pies or pumpkin pies, but the great princess comes out and helps with that because I can't stand measuring pastry and playing with it and adding water a tiny bit at a time. It just drives me crazy. So this is the way to chop ingredients. And then here's a basil plant on the windowsill. So we'll take some of this and stems and whatever, doesn't matter. It's all fresh. Nice fresh ingredients. Chop that up. There's probably a little basil in the tomatoes already, but that's okay. This is going to be just fine. Put a lot in because we have a lot of eggplant. And I'll let that meat cook a little bit. And then I'll chop, do the sausage later. This will go in next. As soon as the meat finishes browning, which I still have an hour before dinner, so I don't have to be in any rush here. So this has a little of the tomato in it. As soon as it finishes browning, I'll add those vegetables. Now, in the meantime, oh, and there's going to be a little pepper in there too, and some oregano, and the secret ingredient is a handful of shredded mozzarella, and that kind of works like a thickener. So that will thicken that stuff right up. So we'll move this out of the way. And we'll get this pan. Here's the helper. I don't think you can see her there, but she's there. And she will be along. She does a lot of the putting it in the oven and browning it. And we'll get there. Now here's some napkins from my last visit to McDonald's. Nobody should ever have to buy napkins if they eat fast food. So we put a little olive oil on that. A little olive oil on the pan. Smoosh that around and grease the pan. And then we take the olive oil and wipe the salt 
off the eggplant pieces and put them on the pan and they're going to go first in the oven which you won't be here to see that I don't think they're going to go in for 25 minutes and then they're going to at 350 and they're going to kind of firm up a little bit they're about a quarter inch thick I didn't don't measure the small eggplants this time of year they're really not in season around here it's 12 degrees out it's still light out it's not growing weather up in north here um, so they were kind of odd shape and small they're not what you would find during the summer but we like them so much like I say this is recipe is for for people who do low carb but people who don't do low carb really like it just as much. Here's a fatter piece, but this will be fine. Not a problem. We don't, we don't have to fight over food. Except for like this when it's low carb, then she'll, um, you will take your share, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she will take her share. So I might have to, you know, tie it to the chair or something or find a way to slow her down a little bit so that I get more than my share because that's the kind of guy I am. I just do that. And anyway, this is going to get kind of boring watching me do this. But this is what we do. And then the meat's cooking. And if my hands weren't covered with oil, I turn the camera off until it's time to take these out of the oven and put the thing together. But this is really kind of simple. It takes a little bit longer. I like to cook really fast. And things in the oven and in the pans and not stand here playing with it but it's not as bad as the pastry station where you actually have to we actually have to measure things and this will be about the right number now I'll put this one this one's off an end so it's kind of funny looking but I'll put that face up for now because halfway through the 25 minutes in the oven herself is going to turn them over so now this tiny piece, I might just throw that in the pan because it's really not much to put topping on. I think that's what's going to happen. That's going to get chopped up with those other vegetables and go right in the pan. And so same with this. This is too small to be useful. Now I have to go. Got that done. I hear the meat sizzling, so it's time to take care of the meat and Definitely. say au revoir. We'll see you later. He's saying something. You want to smile for the camera? No, Chef Ramsey. No, I'm, I'm Chef Ramsey now. All right, see you later. Don't take your shirt off. Okay, we're almost at the last stages. Here it comes. The Skillful Helper turned it 10 minutes ago. It's been in there for 25 minutes. Now she's going to put the topping on and the cheese. The oven's just been set. The oven went from 350, now it's set to broil to get the broil warmed up. When they go in for 350, when they go in to broil, they go really fast. And In this oven, the broiler is on the top in the oven compartment. The oven's already hot, and it'll take about three minutes. All the tomato sauce ended up in the in the mix here because we decided that why well, have extra steps when it was all going to be going on the pizza anyway so we just combined it all and now the tomato sauce that was half frozen okay, I'll put is well heated. On these and then you can well we still have to wait for them to come out of the oven yeah, so right, you can shut it off and this part will be done. Well, we still have to wait for them to come to the oven, out of the oven. Well, yeah. All right, you'll be back to watch us eat. Sorry, I can't share. Okay, there's our one minute. It is done. I'm gonna go stop to clean up a spill over here, but um, I guess I can clean up the spill and she can get the. Okay. Okay, here's a 
Bob, what are you doing there when the stuff is ready? Look at here, it's here. Yeah. Let me get the stuff out of here. Wow. Annoying noises. Three minutes exactly, plus a couple of seconds there for the delay. And I call them done. Hold on a second, I'll give you a better look. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. There's not a ton of them left, but there was, you know, that many of them, but nobody ate them, but they got shrunk. They were bigger when they went on the cookie sheet, but none are gone. They just got smaller. Okay. Now herself will dish them up. I think. Or eventually, maybe she'll dish them up. Gotta pick up stuff first. I'll dish them up. It's dinner time. Nice and brown. Nice and brown. Three minutes exactly. And don't take here, you take the. <laughs> say, I told you we'd fight over this. Yes, look at yes we're going to fight over it. Can you smile when you say that? Yeah. Smile a little bit here. Smile over that food. Look at that beautiful food you helped. It's delicious and I helped. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to be like the delinquent teenagers and eat in the living room in front of the TV come back for seconds and then I'll get the best ones because I'll be done before her okay like I mentioned I might have mentioned yeah. earlier you can put any kind of topping you want there's nothing to measure just get the timing right cooking these things that the eggplant firms up you can see that it's got texture that it's solid enough that it's not too floppy what you looking at me about I don't know if she's looking at me for something but you can see that they're nice and solid they're firm they're you can pick them up without them falling apart. Okay. I'm sure we will enjoy it. Sorry you can't share. Bye.